did I tell you it was wash day yesterday and that's why my hair's like this? There was shampoo and there was a comb and when I go to that level of effort, I then twist it so that it doesn't cut around itself. Hey tribe, welcome to HGDC, HG Designed Crochet. I'm Heather and this is my channel, the home of the Granny Square. I'm a crochet designer in the United Kingdom. Today's a little bit different. Um, I've just released my first official pattern, which is this one, Revival. And the pattern went live this weekend, just gone. Today is Monday the 10th of August. Um, and today is a special day, because it's my anniversary. Happy anniversary, baby. <laughs> I am recording a slightly different vlog today. Um, off the back of how successful the release of the pattern has been and a huge, huge thank you to everybody who has bought the pattern. I have been dancing at every notification, um, obsessively checking, it's my new favourite notification, just knowing that so many people are going to be making granny square items is just wow. Um, so yeah. It went out on Saturday, it's been really, really successful. I'm really, really pleased. Um, I set a goal of 100 sales and I'm almost halfway there already, which is just, is fantastic. So thank you so, so much. I can't wait to see um, all of your versions of Revival on social media using all the hashtags that are in the pattern. I'll put them below for you. Um, so yeah, off the back of that, which has been Wow! Um, I took yesterday off, which was Sunday, as a sort of regroup day because um, a lot of work went into the release, a lot of work, a lot of work and so I wanted to, oh I didn't really want to take a day off but I knew I should take a day off so it was um, kind of like a regroup session in that because I stepped back, I had a bit of time to ponder a few things that I wanted to bring to the channel, what I would do differently for my next pattern release, which should be in September, um, and loads of different bits and pieces. I also got some crochet done, some knitting done. It was, it was just lovely. Um, and one of the things I decided is that I'm gonna show you the more business side of what goes into HDDC. Because I do my monthly reviews and you see everything I work on, all of my whips and my fi my finished projects and all of that and you also get to see my garden updates but I don't show you so much this um, so when I vlog usually I am over there and you see me on my sofa with my bookshelf and then you come to this side of the room and this was my dining room table which is now my desk and behind me is HDDC HQ, it's my command centre. And so I've decided that I'm gonna show you one of my days of working on HGDC um, and everything that goes into it. There's a lot of planning, there's a lot of behind the scenes that I don't actually show you and I think a lot of people would find it interesting just to see what actually goes into designing a pattern grading a pattern, writing it up, what my day-to-day -day schedule looks like, the common tasks that I have to do or that I want to do as a designer. Um, so this is a new series of vlogs, my studio vlogs, here in my little home studio. And I don't know about you, but I love watching um, different like business owners, seeing their behind the scenes, a day in the life, the studio vlogs and things like that. Um, and I have so much to show you, so it means you get more vlogs. So, I am going to show you my command centre behind me, um, and then I'm going to show you what I have got planned today, and then we can get it done. So my command centre, it was the gallery wall in what would have been, like I've got a great big lounge slash diner, and I took out everything pretty much and replaced it with HGDC because now that I work from home I was looking at these walls all the time and so I've sort of taken over and made a HGDC so 
I have got, you can see here, there's a notice board there, my vision board is there. On my mirror I've got one of my products, on this mirror I've got my release schedule and I have two notice boards here, three, three notice boards here. Um, so let me show you. Are you ready? I'm excited to show you. Let's get a productive and good day. Okay, so my desk, let me back right on up, is my kitchen table, which I've moved so that it's against my conservatory, which means I get to look out at this amazing view of just green goodness. Um, so we've got tomato and cucumber plants here just taking over and then you can look out so when I'm sat at my desk I can see all of this um, so I've got some flowers that I brought in here and then you can just see <laughs> my green jungle but then I can see out into the garden my courgette plants, sweet corn plants, sweet peas, potatoes, huge sunflower up here and here and then you can see all the trees all the trees and behind there is the fields so that is my view from my desk which is amazing right and then you come back in here to my desk um it's my kitchen table so it's it functions it works i'm happy for now i have got this little light here because without all of the studio lights, it's actually kind of dark in this bit. Um, and I like to work in good lighting. So I have this little light here for that reason. I work with double screens. Um, so I use my Mac, but then I have this screen and it's really useful when I'm editing um, vlogs or um, patterns or anything like that because you've got two screens to work off. It's so much quicker, it's so much more efficient. It's set up with my branding, my desktop, and you can see my YouTube channel on there because I was just doing a couple of bits and pieces. Make sure you click like and subscribe. And then, as we step over here, we have my gallery wall. Now let me back up without falling over anything. This is my gallery wall. You're getting a reflection from the YouTube lights. <laughs> See how much darker it is? Okay. So. If I block it with my body. We have my Princess and the Frog. Wall art. Favourite Disney film. Some of our beloved and departed dogs is in that mirror. I hope they're jumping around up there on the Rainbow Bridge. Quote number one. Travel quotes. Quote quote, quote, and also H's for happiness. Inadvertently, I've realised that this has become the colour scheme for the branding of HDDC. <laughs> um, loads of the frames were charity shop finds. Um, pretty much all of them were charity shop or secondhand shops. Um, and then the notice boards were Wilkinson's. The mirror was gifted, I think that was from the range, that's from either Primark or Wilkinson's, I can't remember. Anyway, I think that was Pound Shop as well. So, what I've got here, let's start with this one, is a big notice board and it's got Revival, which I've just successfully released, yay! And my next project pattern to come out, which is Promise. Um, I've put them up there because I want to see them and at a glance just know what it is that I'm pushing for, what I'm working towards. So that one's gone out, which is great, gives me all the good feels. That one is to come in September. Um, and then I've also got some quotes on here. Our greatest glory is nothing ever falling, but rising every time we fall, which was sent by Josie Rose when she sent me some goodies. And there's a few other bits and pieces granny squares everywhere. I've surrounded myself with my branding, with my logo, with what I'm working towards because I'm a visual person and this is how I 
this is how I put myself out there. I visualise and then I make it happen. And so in order to visualise, I need to be surrounded by the good stuff. <laughs> you can see me. So I've also then put a vision board together, which has got my... Let's turn this light off just for now. So you don't have the reflection as much. So, YouTube light. Why? Okay, my vision board. As I said, I'm very, very visual. This is how I make things happen. I have a mood board here, a vision board, and I spend five minutes in front of it every day. And I look at the images and I imagine how it would feel. And to me, it's important to add the feelings in there so that you can make it a reality. Because anyone can look at an image, but when you start to imagine how good it's gonna be seeing other people making your projects, when you see other people buying your product and learning the information you can give them, creating the things that you wish existed, seeing your sales notifications, your making goals, getting people's orders out, that is, that fires me up. Like I'm ready to sit and get my work done now. So I've got loads of different bits and pieces on here. Take note of these bracelets because they're coming to HDDC soon. Not those exact ones, but HDDC versions. And I will show you one at the end of the vlog because I've already got a couple that I've been wearing. So, really, really important. There's my back, my desktop, my branding. It's there. It's all on colour, um, which I didn't do on purpose. I just found these images on Pinterest, printed them off, put them in my frame. I've already spent five minutes in front of this this morning and I will just look at it, imagine, make it come to light. So that's my vision board. This is my release schedule. Now if we step this away, I have one, two, three notice boards up here. Now I'm super, super organized and this is how I make the magic happen. We've got August, September, October, November, and December is up there. And I have made these specifically to work as a designer. So I've got a key on each one. I've got write up, tech edit, test, release, YouTube, social media, and then my key of what the um, symbols mean, the arrows, and then important dates. So revival's already gone out. And here's my little granny squares that I used for one of my Patreon tiers. And so this is the overview of the months. And then within each one, so example, revival, the release is there and it corresponds with the key. And this is something that I picked up from all the bullet journaling that I do, just at a glance. It's easy, simple, so, so effective. And don't worry, I'm gonna put this together in a little workbook, um, like how to run your own creative business, because I can give you all of these um, monthly schedules and all the other bits and pieces I've put together. So. From my monthly schedules, I've taken the releases and I've put them there. So at a glance, I can see Revival is coming in August. The workbook should be coming in September. October should be Promise. Though I've actually brought Promise forward, it should now be September. So I'm going to put an arrow on that in a bit to move it over. And then Invested will now be October. I actually have up until next May mapped out. So I'm going to do a 2021 and add to that. Um, and then just to dive in a little bit deeper, I also did a release schedule for Revival and it has everything on there that I needed to do for the release. I will go into that at a later date. Just for now, it's just a quick overview of the things I do. And then I've got another vision board here which lives in my bullet journal. This is just like my top tip. Make a vision board, look at it every day, work towards it every day. And before you know it, you will be where you want to be. Okay, so within my command center, I then every morning I will come, I will have a look at my monthly schedules, see where I am. And then I set my daily intentions. I got this little whiteboard, I think from Wilkinson's, 
and I know I just buy additional pens from eBay or wherever, is magnetic so it actually goes on my radiator when I'm, I'm working on my desk. And the first, I always set my intentions and my daily tasks so that you don't get distracted because it's very easy to be like, right, what shall I do today? And then you might go on Instagram to answer some comments and before you know it, half your day's gone or you might be so wrapped up in a task that you forget about the next pattern that you need to work on to get out um, because I want a continual motion. I want to be constantly moving forward. So in terms of sending out promise, um, I've already called for testers. So then my second task is to grade invested and tanked. Invested is the granny square tank top that I made and tanked is another vest top that you haven't seen. I want to get those graded up. Um, at some point next week I'm going to hopefully get the pictures for invested and then send that out to be tech edited because I want to release that pattern in October. Luckily it's such a small pattern that I think you might only need about three weeks to test it. Um, it didn't, it took me next to no time. And then my third task is five pages of my workbook. So I'm at the moment putting together a workbook, a series of workbooks, but in particular I'm working on the grading workbook. Um, and in that workbook I am putting in all of the information that I have learn in the last couple of years. So anyone that's been around for a while, you will know that I've wanted to release patterns for the longest time. I've been designing patterns for maybe three or four years now, um, but I didn't have the know-how to put it together like this to release it. And it's took quite a lot of time to learn that. Um, and so you would have seen on my vision board, it says create the things you wish existed. And I wish when I was grading my patterns that this workbook existed um, for numerous reasons. Number one, everything out there that I have found is really, really, really expensive. And I don't like that finances then becomes an obstacle. Like, it's prohibitive. You can't learn what you want to do because it's expensive. Um, for me, I would have jumped at a chance to get a workbook like this, um, an entry level price where you can pay for it, you don't flinch at the price, it's not going to set you back and if grading isn't for you, at least you've learned a bit of an overview and it's not come at a hefty sting, whereas all of the courses that I did find um, were like 200 plus. And that's fine when you are committed and you know you want to learn the next steps or go really in depth. But as a beginner, as the first step, that just that's that's a lot. Um, and I didn't have that money to do those sorts of courses. And then also a lot of those courses are um, like you actually physically have to go somewhere, or now they're online as webinars, and that also can be prohibitive because of time. We've all got different schedules. For me, I work um, 12, 8 to 12 hours a day. I'm working on my day job. Um, before lockdown, I had travel on top of that, so I was easy out the house 12 hours a day. Now, with lockdown and working remotely, I still give 8 hours a day to my day job. Today I'm on your leave, in case you were wondering. Um, and so, a course that maybe is 5 o'clock or half three in the afternoon for six afternoons, I couldn't commit to something like that, whereas my workbook is just a downloadable product. So you can do it in your own time. And then also just, um, there were so many different sources of information, which is great, but it took me a long time to sort of work my way through all these various sources that I found along the way, and then bring it all together to be able to do this. And I just know there's so many people out there that want to make their own patterns and it's the grading that holds them back. And so I just thought, well, I'm going to create this product then and share the information that I have. Because um, you might you might not want to be the next huge designer. You might just want to put out a couple of patterns or you might have a pattern idea in mind and you want to make it for your husband, your teenage son and your toddler nephew. And this workbook then means that you can 
do all the necessary to make it into the different sizes. And then there are so many people out there that want to be a designer because let's be honest, crochet is amazing. And if we could all make a living from it, why wouldn't we? So I'm working on putting the workbook together. I want it finished by the end of August. I've made a really good start. I think it's gonna be about 50 pages in total, maybe a bit more. Um, and I've mapped everything out and then I've started on the document and so I want to get five pages finished today. So let me stop talking your ear off and get on with writing up Promise so that we can send it out to the testers. Let's do it. I use Canva to make all of my products. Um, it's a really, really great bit of online software in effect. Um, I originally started using Microsoft Wear, but it just didn't give me the finish that I wanted. So I now use Canva. Um, I now also have signed up to the paid for service um, just because I could make a product and then resize it. So for example, I could do my Etsy header and then resize it for Facebook and so on and so on and so on. Um, and also there's a few premium images that I wanted to use. Um, and now with the sheer amount of patterns that are to come, because I've got uh, another nine patterns in the pipeline, which takes me up to May, and then potentially a collection in um, May that's gonna be dropped. So, well, will be dropped for you, should we say. I will be dropping a collection. Um, so I use Canva and you can see all of the pink goodness that I've made. Oh my, oh my. I've been working for about an hour now and I'm just taking a really quick break with my goodies, get some snacks and when I'm eating I read on my Kindle so I'm just going to take 10 minutes to get this snack in me and then get back to updating Promise. This is why I'm doing a grading workbook. So that all of these numbers on these spreadsheets make sense. Second hour of writing up the edits and just checking the spreadsheet. I've gone right back through the spreadsheet and just checked a few things that I wasn't quite comfortable with. Um, and just written all sorts of stuff all over my pattern to add in and now i'm going to update the version on canva and get this ready to send out to my top tester and then she will very helpfully just read through make sure it makes sense and there's no obvious typos and then i'll send it out to all the rest of the testers so i'm going to put some tunes on and i'm just gonna power through See you on the other side. Hey tribe, so it is my lunch time and I am in my conservatory where it's nice and warm. I can see all my flowers and plants and the sun is shining. I have this big bowl of food to get in me. I've got some noodles with vegetables from our garden, and some coleslaw, and some tuna and pickled onions. So kind of like a butter bowl. And I've also got my Kindle. So I'm gonna have 10 to 15 minutes just eating and reading, and then I'm likely to go for a really quick walk just because I'm feeling a little bit sleepy with all the screen time I've had this morning. So, food.
look at how fluffy my hair's gone. <laughs> and that, I don't even think it's a spot, I think I got bit. That one's a spot then. So, I've been for my walk in the fields. Um, sometimes you want to just have a nap or you think you're tired. In actual fact, you just need some water and to get out of the house. Um, I'm so, so blessed and lucky to have the fields. Literally within two minutes, I'm in the middle of a field and I can wander around for miles. Like Brad and I can, we've done a 12 mile walk now, 11, 12 miles, just going around the fields um, and beyond, which I love it. So I've done that, I feel refreshed now. I'm not sleepy, can you tell? Um, I've got a couple of things to do on promise and then it's finished and it will go to my top tester and then next on my to-do list was to grade invested and tanked but I think I'm going to go straight to the workbook because it is 10 to 1 I want to try and get at least five pages done um, I'm just a bit done with spreadsheets right now so I'm gonna go on to the five pages of the workbook get those done and then it's crochet time and that makes my heart sing i'm working on a couple of different projects in the background um and different ideas like and is it going to be a blanket or should i make it into something wearable or shall i do both okay let's crack on also i had to put the fan on she's down here because it's so warm that is my current view it's so beautiful. Hey tribe, so it's six minutes past four. I have had a productive day, but I also did hope to get more done. That's the way it goes. Um, I have got promise done and sent out to those testers that I've already found. And I have done a few pages on the workbook. And um, what I'm gonna do for the workbook is, because it's quite a big, big project. I'm going to write a page in my bullet journal and I'm going to break down each section um, and then I can tick off each section because then I'll feel like I'm getting somewhere. Whereas at the moment I'm finishing a page and I'm like yay and then I scroll and I'm like there's so much to do. I'm waiting for a message so that we can go and have our anniversary meal. So I think I've probably got about 40 minutes before I'm, mm, I think I've got 40 minutes of work left and then I will be packing up to get myself ready. I've already tidied the house so I've cleaned the kitchen, um, I've retidied the lounge which is where I am now and I, all I need to do is shower. Okay, so I just put this together really, really quickly. My grading workbook, everything that it covers. 
from the front page all the way to the different necklines you can use in your design, from swatching to measurements to the formulas, all the way down to the final page. And I've got a little system, so I put ticks here when I've done the page. I've got little marks here because I've started the page and there's a few more to add in. Um, and then I'm going to tally the amount of pages per section. I've also then just quickly broken down specific sections and I'm going to include these breakdowns within the grading spreadsheet, so um, the form workbook, sorry, in the grading workbook. So I'm really glad that I have done this so that I can see best ways to categorise things. Um, and then when the page is completely done, I'm putting a tick there, which means I've signed it off. Now that I've got this little overview, because I am a big picture person, I need to see the whole thing so I can then add in the little details. I also prefer it because it was bugging me that I'm having to go past the contents page. There's little point mapping out a contents page when I'm going to have to go back change the titles and the page numbers numerous times. Another thing that I'm going to put at the bottom here is page numbers because that's something that I will do at the very end. Again, there is no point putting them in now because if I decide to go back and add in eight pages, I'm going to have to renumber re an entire 50 page document. Um, and then the other thing will be hashtags. They will go in at the end once I've decided what they are. So. Okay, back into it. I just got my evening message and I'm not expected until six and it's 27 minutes past four now. So I've just set a timer for 50 minutes on my phone. When that 50 minutes is up, then I need to shut all this down and go and get myself ready. Okay tribe, so I've made so much more progress now on my workbook, having mapped out what I needed to get done, I've actually added three pages um, since we last spoke, so I've actually done my five pages, I think I've done six pages today actually, um, so I'm really really pleased with that. I've set up the next page ready to crack on with tomorrow morning when I get back to this, so I'm going to try and do two pages per day. And my plan is to get back into my early morning so um, I don't think any of you really know but when I've got a big project on I get up anywhere from five to six o'clock in the morning and that's something I've done it'll be a year in November no October so I'm going to start getting up at six and then see how I get on with getting two pages done before I start my day job at nine because I'm back to work tomorrow um, and if need be, if need be, then I will start getting up at five to get those two pages done. I prefer to get my work done before I start the day job just because then no matter what happens during the day, you have got your work done ticked off. Um, so even if the day job overruns or you end up with a blinding headache at the end of the day or anything like that you have worked on your goals and you have you know made those steps forward so i'm really really pleased um with how much i've got done and now i'm going to go beautify and get ready for my anniversary so i'm gonna end this vlog here i'm gonna say um, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed seeing a bit more of the behind the scenes and the insider of what goes into um, designing, crochet designing, knitwear design. Um, I'm really excited for this workbook so I'm quite glad that you can see it at the early stages now and then I'll be able to show you the finished product. Um, yeah, 
beautify and then I can finally sit and do some crochet. Woohoo! Okay, drive, take care, have a lovely evening. See you soon. Bye!